Hello and welcome to another video and this time it's going to be a quick channel update. I'm just going to talk about some random stuff and uh, play around in the mech lab, maybe play a match as I finally have gotten my Phoenix Hawks. It, it, they were lost in the mail for a couple weeks, but they have finally arrived. Hopefully things will be uh, more, f a little more speedy when it comes to the Viper as I would like to play it the day of, but we'll see. Let's see, I actually made a list here so I don't ramble and get off topic. Alright, main thing is a new schedule. And let's just click into some of these mechs. I've already worked on the, the uh, is this the rock? I think I'm going to do a medium pulse CERN build on it. But let's just click into one of the other Phoenix Hawks, the, the 1S, and try to play with it as I talk. So, I have made up a new schedule. And it is going to be what I'm going to... Uh, follow moving forward. Um, I just want to standardize the way I'm doing things. I want to be much more consistent than I have in the past because my channel is getting larger. Actually larger than I ever really expected it to. Um, it's sitting right now at... Why am I put, taking that down? Uh, that's what happens when I'm talking and I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing. It's just over 3,000 subscribers, and that is amazing. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. It's really interesting to to, to have this community that's uh, forming around um, my gaming interests. It's just, it's very interesting. Um, but what, as I'm losing my train of thought, what I'm going to want to do is I have been fairly inconsistent in the past six months. I was going to school. I didn't have a consistent pattern. I would put up content when I could, but then it would there would be gaps when there wouldn't be content. I'm trying to get rid of that. I'm trying to make things consistent. So I have sat down and I planned out a schedule for uh, the majority of the time that I will be putting videos up. Of course, there will be offhand videos that will be a reaction to something that happened in the community or you know, stuff along those lines, like today they uh, had the uh, announcement of the um, the linebacker and that new mech and I will be, I'm like one thing I want to do now is I'd like to, whenever they make a uh, new mech announcement, I want to say, is this mech good or not? Kind of what like what G-Man does with his, uh, you know, his theory of crafting, I'd like to do my own because I think that's really fun. Um, so let's go through the, the things that are on the calendar. Um, item one will be, let's see here, live streams. Um, my live stream schedule is going to be every Friday night, 9.30 p.m., guaranteed, going forward. So every Friday night, there's going to be a live stream. It's going to be me playing solo and me... Uh, derping around, pugging it, and enjoying the game, just trying different builds. People can, you know, s put them in chat. You can say, hey, play this, play that sort of thing. Play a, a, a Lerm Ebon Jaguar, and I will. And I'll, I'll, I'll sneak it in somewhere during the night sort of thing. Other than that, for live streams, it's going to be uh, Friday, or most likely Tuesdays. And Tuesdays are going to be varying topics. So while Friday is always going to be me pugging, and I should actually do something on the screen, um, I think this is a fine build. Just sit back and shoot with the ER large lasers. A tiny bit hot, but eh, it'd be okay. Yeah, save this up. Um, while Fridays will be me solo pugging, and that will be the only t way I'll play that on that day, Tuesdays will vary. So Tuesdays from like 6 to 8 or 6 to 9, a 2 or a 3 hour, however long I want to do it, but generally starting around 6 p.m. Um, it'll change out between patch day and um, talk show. So I'd have somebody on and we'd discuss something, or we would uh, have team speak Tuesdays. So the Tuesdays would have these multiple roles, and TeamSpeak Tuesday would be everyone getting on, and you can join in with us, and we can all play together. Uh, one of the things that um, 
Pariah Devalis, uh, one of the my fellow one of my friends from the game who um, got me into the Nova Cats group. Um, one thing that he's been trying to do recently is set a a brawling and just a, like a fight night sort of thing. Um, also, it's sort of like a training night, so that way people can get on there and they can train and learn some brawling techniques or really whatever they want to do. So, I know the guys, um, I think it's Imperial that does the Church of Skill. I have no idea if that's going on still or what they're doing with it. But I, it would be kind of similar to that. Anybody that wanted to show up could show up. And this thing is a little hot. I'm going to change these to regular larges. Um, they could show up and we would have a topic for the evening. We would, say, do this once a month or once every three weeks or whatever, however we want, often we wanted to do it. And we would say, this is Tutorial Tuesday and we're going to talk about you know, brawling, or we're going to talk about high-speed flanking, you know, we're just going to play matches with people, and we're going to take them in, and we're going to help them th learn this technique, and then people in the future can go back and rewatch the stream and be like, oh, wow, so this is how you would do it, you know, that kind of stuff. Topics I'd really like to cover are, like, dueling, and uh, especially uh, target calling and teamwork, because that's not something you can easily put into a uh, a YouTube video or something like that. It's something you need to be, you need to see demonstrated. And I'm um, sorry about the, the pop-ups in the bottom right there. I'm just going to turn my notifications off. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the live stream uh, schedule. For other videos, the Let's Plays, no matter what game it is, currently it's MechWarrior 4 Vengeance, then it's going to be MechWarrior 4 Black Knight, and then MechWarrior 4 Mercenaries, before it moves on to something non mech warrior non um, Those are going to occur every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And they're going to come, up, come out in the middle of the day, say like noon or like middle of the afternoon sort of thing i guess that depends on your uh your time zone but for me i'll have them come out at noon pacific standard time so east coast would be a 3 p.m thing so right when you're getting off of work or getting off of school um, a new episode should be available on monday wednesday and friday uh, i currently have 18 episodes of MechWarrior 4 completed and uploaded and ready to uh, view. And they're all ready to go out. They've got all their thumbnails, they've got all of their uh, everything. All their titles. Just They're ready to be viewed and they will be automatically coming out. Something I don't have to be there to uh, take care of, which is very nice. And I think this would be a good mech for uh, flanking around the side. You know, Flank really quick, be on the distance, shoot, scamper away, sort of thing. Um, but yeah, all right. Let's move on to the next mech and the next topic. So, live streams Friday, Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Let's plays, and then every Sunday, I'd like to put out a mech build video. Uh, I really like what Molten Metal is doing. And it's kind of gonna be dealing his his structure, and I'm sorry to him. He can tell me if he doesn't want me to do that or whatever. But I really like it. I want to do it. And for things like the the jester here, I want to show off the, this uh, medium pulse laser build that I have. It's probably gonna be one of the first videos I make because it's just a f stupidly fun little mech. Um, so that'll be every Sunday sometime. Uh, the Steam Free to Play will continue at some interval. I'm not sure exactly what. This is the one that's uh, not really going to have like a, a structured time at this current moment. I'm basically going to fit it in while I can. Um, as it's kind of nearing its completion with the Steam Free to Play, it has two more mechs to buy. We have two more Hellbringers to purchase. And then we are done in that account because it would be my goal. I wanted to get uh, 
three mechs of every weight class. I will master them, and then that will be the end. Um, and then I'll, I'll do a recap video of how I felt that went. You know, oh, this it took this long to do it, and I feel these things about it. And, um, you know, it was too long or too short or whatever to get this far on free to play and these are the changes i would uh do to improve that so i'm not sure how long that will go on maybe another dozen episodes from now i'll probably play a bunch off stream and during live streams to just get me the sea bills i need because i only need one more mech bay and then that then i have all the mech bays i need so we'll see how that goes but Free to play, I'm guessing, will end at the end of summer, beginning of fall, and then it will go away, and I won't do another free to play, probably ever again. Free to plays are very taxing on me. Um, but to replace it, I want to get back into doing more uh, tutorials because that's what I really enjoy doing. It's where I started getting my uh, my popularity, my interest in people wanting to see what I was doing uh, in the game. Oh, should I put easy twos on this? Why don't we try an easy two build? Anyway, I'm talking to myself. Oh, they're both on one arm. Ooh. Maybe a ten. Yeah, let's do a ten. Okay. Oh, but then I can't put... I can only put on one medium laser. God damn it. That's unfortunate. I wish I could get rid of that hand actuator. That would make this thing so much nicer. I could put another medium laser on it. Uh, anyway. So that's my video schedule. That was like the big topic I wanted to get through today as, yeah, it's the most, uh, it's the biggest thing. Moving on, we're going to have a giveaway again this Friday. So as I'm recording this, it's tomorrow. I'll be posting it the evening of, so yes, uh, Friday, July 8th will be a new giveaway a selection of mech pack of your choice plus there is the sort of unclaimed um, Kodiak pack from the last giveaway that we have to deal with somehow and what I've decided to do is that because I have I still have the list from the last time of everybody who won it bef since then but Maybe those people have gone and said, well, I didn't win it that time, so I'll just went and bought it myself. And now I could come up afterwards and say, hey, I have the mech again. You know what I mean? Like, I have the mech for you. Would you like it now? And they would look at me and say, no, I, I lost. I, you should have told me this so much longer ago because I... I went and spent my money on it, and I don't need it anymore. And then there would be another person that would sort of default on it, and I would have to go back and go, oh, damn it, I have to go refigure this out again. I think I might change this to an Ultra 5. And that way I can get the four, fourth medium laser on there. Yeah, let's give that a try. Then I can up the engine a little bit. Drop the sink for the ammo I need? I don't know. Still figuring it out. But yeah, that's what I've decided. So what's going to happen is there's going to be a new Google form. You're going to select which mech pack you want for the first giveaway. And then there's just going to be a tick box that says, Would you also like like a, the Kodiak as an add-on? It's, it's just strange to do it i might do it as entirely two separate giveaways a pick a pack and a kodiak only but yeah anyway it's going to be in that google form so you can re-enter if you entered before and you didn't get it and you still want it or or yeah that'll basically be it or if you already have the kodiak and don't want it anymore you don't need to enter, and you can just enter the select a mech giveaway. Okay. That, that's 
since I do now have 3,000 subs, which is awesome, I'm going to be looking into channel art, channel trailer, channel intros and outros, trying to make things a little bit more standardized. I don't think this is enough ammo, but what can I do? Can I drop this down to 300? I like getting ni nice round numbers. I don't want to go down too far. Maybe change these to pulse lasers? Anyway, as I experiment here, um, nothing concrete on that topic yet. I still need to think about it and what I want to get for that, but it would basically be like how you see a lot of um, more professional YouTubers than I have, you know, you'd lo go onto their channel and they'd have some some fun intro thing on every one of their videos and at the end of the video some catchy music pops on and they have like see the next video or view this random video sort of thing i just like to improve my production values a little bit more and um, hopefully that will come out in the future there's no timeline to that i'm just investigating it uh just to let you know what i'm doing in my spare time uh I talked about the training sessions oh yes and then the last thing that I need to uh, talk about here is it was my 27th birthday yesterday so happy birthday to me and part of that I actually got a pop filter for my microphone so I'm talking through it right now and before there would be all of the pop 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 sounds and what those could occur is if I move the the filter here and I talk directly into the mic if there is a pop, 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 hopefully that's showing up. And then I'll put the filter back in. And pop, 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 pop. The, whenever you make that kind of sound, uh, a burst of air comes out of your mouth. And Target if you're too close to your microphone, you can um, have this wind buffering sound pop up. And it's extremely annoying and it's so difficult to edit out but with a pop filter you can just ignore it because you're talking through this sort of uh, mesh that is deflecting all of the uh, the wind from your voice the your, your sound is still getting through but all of the uh, the harsh wind that would cause some bad mic effects are getting cancelled out and so yeah I'll I'm gonna take right now in the video and I'm gonna put up a, a video not a video a, a picture of what it looks like just so you can see it it's got a little um, bendy arm that snaps onto my microphone and uh, yeah I enjoy it uh, greatly and hopefully I will improve my audio quality in the future. But for now, I think that's going to be it. I'm just going to play around some more with modifying my uh, Phoenix Hawks before I go out and try to uh, basic them. Probably get my ass handed to me. As it's a little lacking on weapons, but hey, whatever. It's got some speed. But yeah, uh, that'll be it for now. Another video that I'm most likely going to do tonight is a. Uh, one for a new series called Should I Buy or that kind of thing. Like I'm not sure what exactly what the, the name of it will be, but every time that they uh, announce a new thing to purchase, I would make a video saying, should you buy? Um, should you buy such thing? And it's, it's gonna be kind of like um, what G-Man does. I think I mentioned that in the beginning here, but where he goes and he does his um, theory crafting and I just basically theory craft a little bit and then give a, an assessment of uh, Spend real money, wait for sea bills, or don't even pick it up at all. And that'll be sort of my three tiers. Target destroyed. But yeah. Um, so thanks for watching, and hopefully this information is useful for you guys. And uh, I hope to expand the channel and uh, work on it in the future. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the uh, in the comment section. Considering that would be a great place for comments. Silly me. And I will respond to them as best I can, and I'll definitely have some more in-depth questions as an optional survey when the uh, the giveaway comes out. 
as I enjoy doing that and it gives me some good information. Which reminds me, I never really went off, went over the uh, last giveaway results. Damn, I'll have to do that with the, the next giveaway. Ah, whatever. Okay, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later.